The Impercal 2 analyzer is designed for on-site measurements and is relatively insensitive to vibration and ambient temperature changes. It is recommended that the instrument be allowed to warm up for one hour prior to use. The Impercal 2 analyzer draws very little power and if used daily, it can be left on at all times unless operated from the internal battery pack. To change the default language, select Setup, then scroll to the desired language and select Done. Select Analysis and then highlight the appropriate factory calibration from the table. Select Edit. The precision should have no decimal points. Select the appropriate units, typically ppm or milligrams per liter. Select Next. Set the Run Countdown Timer to 2 minutes. Set the Zero Countdown Timer to 2 minutes. Set the Measurement Time to 30 seconds. The zero and calibration expiration times are optional. Select done. Select done again. For tetrachloroethylene, we recommend JT Baker solvent as this is the only solvent available specific for infrared analysis. We cannot guarantee results with any other solvents. Most analysis issues are due to using the wrong solvent or solvent that has been contaminated. An alternate choice to perchloroethylene is S316 solvent. Okay. Ensure that the cuvette is clean. Hexane is recommended for cleaning as it evaporates more quickly than tetrachloroethylene or S316. To clean, fill and empty the cuvette two to three times. Allow the hexane to evaporate prior to filling the cuvette with zero solvent. Do not use water to clean the cuvette. If water does get into the cuvette, fill with isopropyl alcohol or acetone, empty, and allow to dry thoroughly. This is an example of a cuvette that has residual water in it. There will not be a good analysis from this sample. Zeroing the analyzer. The frequency for zeroing depends on the required sensitivity. For levels above 1 ppm, every 1 to 2 hours should be sufficient. Fill the cuvette with the same clean solvent that you will be using for the sample analysis. Insert the cuvette with the frosted side facing toward the front. Select zero. After the run down, countdown timer and the measurement time, I don't know. If the reading is not zero, ensure the solvent and cuvette is clean. Refilling cuvette with clean solvent may be required. If the reading is not zero and the cuvette is clean, select set zero and done. The InfraCal 2 is now ready for sample analysis. For measurements below 2 ppm, it is important to use the same cuvette for zeroing and sample testing. It is also required to re-zero prior to each sample. The cuvette must always be oriented in the same direction. Mark the frosted side of the cuvette as an orientation reference. Clean off any fingerprints from the clear side of the cuvette. Be sure to close the cover both for zeroing and for sample analysis. If the reading is not zero and the cuvette is clean, select set zero and done. The InfraCal 2 is now ready for sample analysis. 
sample analysis. Make sure all glassware is clean. Any residual hydrocarbons in the glassware and sampling containers will be extracted and added to the TOG or TPH readings. Glassware cleanliness can be checked by rinsing it with solvent and then put the solvent rinse in the quartz cuvette and make sure it reads zero. Any positive reading means your glassware is not clean. Sample analysis. Pour a measured amount of sample into the separatory funnel. Pour a measured amount of solvent into the graduated cylinder to clean out any residual oil. Shake and pour into the separatory funnel. In this example, we are using 100 ml of sample and 10 ml of solvent. Shake the separatory funnel vigorously for two minutes. Allow the phases to separate. If you are using a graduated prescription bottle and not a separatory funnel, fill to 140 ml of sample and add 14 ml of solvent. Fill the cuvette with solvent extract. Place the cuvette into the holder on the InfraCal 2 analyzer with the frosted side facing front. Close the cover and select Run. After the countdown timer and the measurement time, the result will be displayed.